Welcome to a tour of it on Twine. We've been focusing across many videos of looking at changer macros within Harlow 3.3. We can change a text style, text size. We can also change visibility using the show and hide macros and a number of other things. What we've not generally focused on is colors. We can also change the color of text and the background color of content, primarily text, within Harlow using changer macros as well. There are two macros dedicated to this task color and background. So if we want to change the color of particular text within a hook or as part of using changer macros, it's the color macro. Color and then a named color red. As well as changing the background color is the background macro in a named color, such as red, green, and other things that exist within the Harlow documentation. So if we want to change this, we can. This text is red, the background of this text is red, and of course the text is white. So we have some options now as we think about how we are applying changer macros. Style, size, all kinds of things, as well as colors. So where this can become potentially very useful is we know working with the change macro, which allows us to target very specific hooks by using their names, and the enchant macro, which can use the names of hooks or use text to imply enchantments more generally, we can use color and background and the other macros we know as part of the changer set, text size, text style, all kinds of other things, and chain them all together, chain the changers. So in this example right here, notice I'm using the enchant macro, and I'm particularly targeting words and phrases, in fact, this entire sentence. So this will be green text and a red background. This will be green text and a red background, combining the color, background, and text size macros all together. Remember, we have two different approaches to think about preparing macros and content within Harlow. We can prepare variables that potentially have changer values, or we can prepare text and hooks and then use enchant or change macros after the fact. So the one uses macros first and content second, and the other does content first and macro second, and both are perfectly valid and of course can be mixed. But here we have an approach of doing the second way. We have content, then we're applying enchantments after the fact. So let's go ahead and look at this example. I change the starting passage to example two and build and play. This will be green text with a red background. So one of the things we can do by using color and background macros is also change the color and background color. And while of course not terribly complex as we have seen many other changer macros, especially show and hide have a little more complexity to them, they add to the growing ability of us to apply enchantments after the fact. So. As we think about approaches within Harlow, again, we can use things we have seen, variables and other approaches, set up macros first and content second, or do content first and macro second. In this second approach, as we see here, potentially we can define everything we want within a story and then use styles, as we've previously seen, or enchantments more generally, to then apply all of those styles once we need them. We can write up our stories, check our stories, and then if we want to style it in a particular way or dynamically style it in a particular way, we can use enchantments to do that. Part of that set, as we now grow across many, many videos on changers within Harlow, are color, changing the color of the text, and background, changing the color of the content, generally text within that. Keep in mind that color and background, because they're changers, apply across the board. So, put another way, if you want to change the named sections within a page, so sidebar, passage, or page, or even links, color and background work for those as well. We can change hooks and then anything that also use name tags and hooks within Harlow. Lots of range of changing things now as we start to branch out into additional changer macros within Harlow 3.3. Thanks for watching.